Pierce Township is located along the Ohio River in southwestern Claremont County, about 20 miles southeast of Cincinnati and just northeast of New Richmond, Ohio. The rural character, abundance of open lands, and meandering creeks and streams all create the unique varied topography that draws people here. In the late 1970s, Cincinnati Gas and Electric was depositing large uncovered mounds of fly ash from its coal-burning power plant onto their property along Beckjord Road in ever-increasing amounts. In 1985, the community became aware that CG&E had surreptitiously purchased the 233-acre Rokes Farm. One of the neighbors accidentally learned at a party that the property was owned by CG&E and they intended to expand their fly ash dump sites into and throughout the land all along Pond Run and Mott Roads. This community was adamant and dug in. They were not going to put coal ash on residentially zoned land, pastoral land, beautiful property. Sometimes I would hike all the way and go to the moon, as my dad called it, which were the actual fly ash pits. And that was pretty interesting. It was like going to the moon and, and there was like a crunchy surface to the fly ash. And you kind of into it and a puff of ash would smoke up as you were walking and it was just mounds of of gray ash everywhere and it really did look like the moon. An aroused community quickly formed Neighbors Opposing Pit Expansion Inc. or NOPE and retained David Altman as their attorney. Against overwhelming odds, NOPE began a fight with the large utility company. This was the classic case of the little guy taking on the big guy. CG&E had huge financial resources, lots of political leverage, and the right of eminent domain. The little guy, Nope, in this case, had extremely talented people with different skills, personalities, and histories, unbelievable determination, and resolve to protect the community. And they had the willingness to work together as a team with a common purpose. It got pretty heated. We had, was on TV, we had, I think it was WKRC, we had a march on a Sunday afternoon, and uh, they sure didn't like that. And we was on the news quite a bit, and that hurt CG&E a lot. And they wanted us to keep our mouth shut, and we just kept on plugging along. One day, I received a phone call to my office stating, two ladies were laying down in front of bulldozers on the property that we're expecting to begin clearing the land. Those two brave ladies happened to be my wife Janet and her cousin Susan Smith. Needless to say, the bulldozers never moved again on the property without NOPE's approval. The NOPE negotiating committee consisted of David Altman, Chris Knoop, and Wayne Harris. After 22 long months of negotiations, an agreement with CG&E was reached in 1986. This is a cartoon that Keen Frederick did, uh, his recollection of the meetings. David Altman, obviously in the center, Wayne Harris and, and me, and uh, we are shown as giants across the table from uh, all these CG&E people. I was very concerned when I learned about this disposing of fly ash on the Pond Run property, what that would do to the whole township, that it was, that it was going to be a, a, a very bad precedent and that it would also uh, put a sort of a cloud over the whole township in terms of the quality of the environment. The 1986 agreement stopped the unchecked expansion and spread of fly ash dumping in Pierce Township. The agreement specified all fly ash deposits be restricted to CG&E's property along Backchord Road. It also required that the fly ash be buried in an environmentally sound manner and provided NOPE rights to information on the impact of that disposal. The agreement additionally stipulated that at the end of a 30-year period, part of the former Rokes Farm was to be offered to Pierce Township for community purposes generally described as passive in nature. 
Nope was also given significant weighted authority on a seven-member committee to determine use of the property. Duke Energy conveyed the property to the township with conditions acceptable to Nope and the township. Pierce Township now owns the property, but Nope holds a conservation easement restricting its use to a nature preserve and walking trails that are accessible to the public but with limited parking. That conservation easement gives Nope assurance of preservation and control in the future over what is done with and to the land. Now 147 acres of land, once destined to become an enormous fly ash dump, are owned by the township to be forever conserved as green space and wildlife habitat. It's a nature preserve with unobtrusive walking trails connecting property on both sides of Pond Run Road through the same tunnel that once served Mrs. Roke's cattle 50 years ago. Back in the 1970s, they were raising Charley cattle on the Roke's farm, and two of their pastures were located, one on one side of Pond Run and one on the other side of Pond Run where Pond Run intersects Mott Road. And in order to get the cattle from one pasture to the other pasture, they built a tunnel under the road, under Pond Run. And it's still there today. Current and future generations of residents can now enjoy, on foot and up close, the essence of what drew us all to Pierce Township in the first place. I started walking on to the property because it was the first time back in uh, November and up flew an owl. I knew immediately that it was a short-eared owl, which excited me because they are, I always consider them a northern species. So uh, when I saw it, it was just uh, a great sighting and it made me realize how important this property was to preserve it and to keep it open and to draw more species that depend on that type of habitat. NOPE's mission statement will continue to guide us into the future. It states that Neighbors Opposing Pit Expansion Inc., or NOPE, is a nonprofit community organization originally formed in 1985 to stop the expansion of fly ash dump sites into residential areas of Pierce Township. NOPE is composed of Pierce Township citizens continuing to serve the township by guarding and preserving the thriving ecosystem and unique character of the land. NOPE has an ongoing commitment to educate and inform township residents about the environmental health and quality of our air, land, and water. I'm really anxious for, for the rest of the township, those people who are inclined to uh, hike and, and just go for a good walk on some beautiful property, to actually get in there and do that. They're going to be surprised. There's, there's a lot there. It, it'll be a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm.